Now we're going to talk about how to calibrate your Viper Pro to work with your Raven SmartTrack system. Once everything is installed, you will need to change a setting in your Viper Pro so that it can communicate with your SmartTrack's box. Simply hit your menu button, go into Setup, then select COM ports. In this screen, you will want to make sure to select Generic GPS. You then to communicate with the SmartTracks controller, we'll need to select a baud rate of 115-200. After you've selected the baud rate, simply press OK to save the changes. You can then communicate back and forth with your SmartTracks box. If you do not change the baud rate to 115-200, they will not be able to communicate and you will have no GPS. Next I'll show you where to go to find the software revision of your equipment. Simply select the product control icon on the bottom of your screen. This will bring up your product control configuration screen. Simply press the miscellaneous box, then hit the next button, and this will give us the version of our nodes. Here you can see our boom speed node, our product node, our AccuBoom node, and auto boom node. This screen is sometimes helpful while trying to troubleshoot different problems with your system. Simply press OK to return to your product configuration screen. Once done, press OK to return to your home screen. Next we'll go through the procedure to update your Viper Pro. To download the software that you'll need to update the software version on your Viper Pro, please go to www dot ravenprecision.com Once there, this is what the screen will look like. You will simply scroll to the bottom to the software section. Click on software and that will take you to your next page. If you look over here in the software categories, you will see Viper and Viper Pro. Make that selection. It will then ask you if you would like to go to the Viper Pro or the Viper. Please select Viper Pro. Then it will list the most current versions of software. The most current versions are listed in bold print. Here we can see the Viper Pro 3.0.1.0 that was released in April of 2009. Select More to continue. Here you will receive the instructions on how to download the information to your USB drive. You will also receive the instructions on how to take the information downloaded to your USB drive and install it on your Viper Pro system. If you scroll all the way through to the bottom, you will notice the Download Now icon. Please select that. It will ask you if you would like to open or save the file. Please select Save. Simply save it to your desktop. Then minimize your window. As you can see, it saved a zip file containing all the Viper software. You know it's a zip file by the zipper on the file. To extract the files, simply right click Go down to the Extract All selection, and that will open up the Extraction Wizard. Hit Next to continue and follow the instructions on the Extraction Wizard. Select Finish. As you can see, it unzipped the file and made available all the software inside the zip file. Now simply right click on this information, select send to, and send it to your USB drive. When we look at our USB drive, we can see that it saved the Viper software to our root directory on our USB drive. We are now ready to take the USB out of the computer and take it out to our Viper Pro to begin the update. From your home screen, simply install your thumb drive that we've already loaded the software on. Insert it into the bottom of your Viper Pro. 
Then simply press your menu button, press the exit icon, then exit to menu. This will bring up the main menu for your Viper Pro console. At the bottom, whenever there is a thumb drive installed with the proper programming on it, you will see this icon that says install Viper Pro. This is what you need to select to do your update. You will simply tap the icon. The Viper Pro will do the rest. It will begin to update. While the Viper Pro is updating, you need to make sure that you do not remove power or remove the thumb drive from the system until the update is complete. If you were to remove power or the thumb drive, you run the risk of doing actual hardware damage to your console. If this were to happen, you would then have to send your console in to Raven Industries to have it repaired by them. After updating, your Viper console will ask you if you would like to delete the program that you've just uploaded. If you would like to keep it on your thumb drive for future use, please select No. Now you have just successfully updated the software on your Viper Pro console. You may now remove your thumb drive from the console. As you can see, the bottom icon that says Install Viper Pro has now disappeared as we took the programming out of the Viper. To return back to your home screen, simply select Viper Pro. Start Viper and you are now back at the home screen for your Viper Pro. This has been a brief overview of some of the basic features and functions of your Raven console. For any additional information, please see your owner's manual that was supplied with your Apache and your Raven console. For further assistance, please contact your local Apache dealer. Thank you.